So today I just want to outline some of the decisions that I like to make whenever I'm fighting in-game. And this may help some people with their game sense and with their ability to handle third parties or being in a pinch or anything like that. So here I just finished a fight and I recognized that there were at least two players near me. One of which was trying to chop my builds out, one of which you see chasing me here. I go back underneath my structure because I know it's in hard mats and I wait for them to make a mistake. I see here he has a not in fact box himself in which is a huge error so as i'm holding the wall i'm trying to take his ramp i get the ramp i keep holding the wall and i take a single shot but he's able to phase through the next wall which is unfortunate i see that the second player has moved up and it took a lot of self-control for me to say uh that guy's on 28 hp but i'm gonna walk away because i don't want to risk getting into a messy 1v1v1 so i stay low and i heal up and really what i'm waiting to happen is i'm waiting to hear a fight or I'm waiting to see a good angle for me to take a shot. So I'm looking for an angle, I don't see anything, and I'm just kind of hanging out. I hear a fight now. So what I think I need to do is kind of move and identify where the fight is. I hear traps going off, so I know it's in a box. So I start going up, the fight's still moving on. I put a cone so that way I'm not seen with the top of my ramp. And I see they're in this box. I take it, I miss my shot. Not a great shot. By this point, he's already sprayed through and is moving height on me. It was a good play by him, but unfortunately, he panicked whenever I cracked him. Later on in that match, um, there's another situation where there's plenty of people fighting for a high ground position. You can see that I'm on the hill, um, on the hill in center zone right now, and I see people are, are fighting for it. So I catch the stormtrooper off guard and begin to work on this guy who was the other pincher in this situation. He's pushing up towards me. I go ahead and use an RPG to drop him down. As soon as I see the ramp, I go ahead and cone above it and box it in just in case. He recognizes that I have the upper hand and he drops down. Now what I want to do here is try and pressure him while he's in the box. I make the mistake of thinking he won't be moving past that wall when he edits through. He actually does. And then here comes the fourth party. So this guy comes in, I start looking for a shot, I don't see him. And the reason I look for the shot is because I know this, this player above me, only, only, he only cares about is cranking. It just seems like the only thing he knows how to do is crank. So now I'm going to make sure I have my mats refreshed. I think there might be some wood left over from the first guy that I eliminated. Unfortunately, there was none. Um, and now again, I just wait. I want to put pressure on the guy in the middle on the brick because I know we're pinching him. And as you can see, this guy is just cranking with metal all the way into infinity. So I just go ahead and put a well-placed RPG shot. He gets dropped out, and I wait to try and tag him. I tag him once for 47, and then keep moving up. The other player in the third party gets the kill. This isn't that big of a deal. Remember, we're, we're focused on survival here. This isn't about cranking out elims in VR. And then I go ahead and finish this kill off. If you enjoy videos like this, let me know, and please subscribe to my YouTube. Thanks.